If you've seen my channel before, then you've seen me upgrade my Elgoo Neptune 4 Plus quite a bit. And today, it doesn't stop. Microswiss launched a new line of hotends called the Flowtech and just recently added the Elgu Neptune series of printers to the lineup. So I reached out to Microsys for a review sample and they were kind enough to send me one. But before we dive in, I'm Ed and welcome to my tech talk. So these new Flowtech hot ends are claiming to have a lot better flow rate, which we will put to the test later in both PLA and PETG. And as a time of filming, Elgu still only offers brass nozzles for their own hot end. So if you want to print more abrasive material with out going through the brass nozzles like crazy, your only option is to try and pray the hardened steel ones off AliExpress work. But with the Micro Swiss Flow Tech Hotends, they already offer hardened steel tips and diamond back nozzles, so you already know you're gonna get quality product. Both hotends feature a full metal design and reaching max temperatures of 300C, which is definitely more of a standard, and with the popularity of ABS and ASA on the rise, probably the cause of it. What I thought was really interesting was the claim of a leak proof nozzle and it combines the nozzle and the heat break. And they also claim that you can do a cold nozzle change. So no more burning your fingertips trying to switch your nozzles anymore. Now, with all that being said, let's get to testing. First, I'll say the install was super easy. It's literally a plug and play system. And after a quick PID tuning, you're ready to go. The first thing I noticed was it does take a little bit longer to heat up. I did a little comparison on how fast both could reach 200C and the Micro Swiss Flowtech was about 39% slower, but take that with a grain of salt, really. You're talking about, I think it was 32 seconds difference, so. Now the first real test was to see how much difference you can see in the actual flow rate. So I used both Rapid PLA and Rapid PETG from Elgu to keep everything even. Looking at the PLA results, I probably don't even have to say any numbers you can visually see the difference. The Elgu Hotten can't even keep up with anything more than 20 millimeters cubed per second, while the Flowtech was able to finish the model, and I didn't see any imperfections until about 27 millimeters cubed per second. So definitely a huge difference in just the flow rate for a PLA. Looking at the PETG samples, you can see a huge difference as well. The Elgu stock end, had reached about 18 millimeters cubed per second before seeing any warping and stringing. And then on the Flowtech, you can reach about 26 millimeters cubed per second before it started deforming. I mean, that is a huge difference. I mean, let's look at them. And in the name of science, I went ahead and disassembled both of them as far as they would basically go. The Micro Swiss definitely breaks down a little more and that's due to the nozzle being the nozzle and heat break compared to on your standard stock hot end, the heat breaks right there. And then that's why this nozzle obviously is a lot shorter compared to the two. But, and why I think we're getting a lot better heat melting, or melting, fl better flow rate, is because on the Micro Swiss, they use a cylindric heater. So that's why it's melting so much better because it's giving even heat across the whole thing compared to the stock heat end where it's just this little heater block that's actually heating up the whole brass block to actually melt everything. So your heating zone is just so much better because it's surrounding the filament and everything as it's actually going. So that is truly why we get so much better flow rate with the Micro Swiss flow tuck. Now with that out of the way, it was time to put my printer at risk to test their claims on the cold nozzle swap and the leak proof nozzle. And the only way I could think of testing this was to swap out the nozzles for one of the extras they sent me and to run a long print. So I found this cool Umbreon on printables. I'll have the link in the description below. Loaded up some rapid PETG from Algoo and started the 14 hour print.
sense. Luckily enough, we didn't come back to a hot end covered in plastic. <laughs> now, this isn't a judge of... And, luckily enough, we didn't come back to a hot end covered in plastic. Now, this isn't a judge on quality, as I just started printing with PNG, so I definitely need to calibrate my profile some more. But overall, the important part is that the print finished with that cold nozzle swap and no nozzle covered in plastic. So this cold nozzle swap was definitely easier. And now hopefully this will give you an ease of mind if you do decide to purchase one of these Micro Swiss Flowtech hot ends. I can highly recommend it for its plug and play install, better flow rate, and more reliable nozzle options. I'll have it linked below if you're interested and I'll catch you on the next one.